Now what we'll do is we now have a nose cone and a parachute assembled. Next thing we're going to do is attach the main rocket to the nose cone via the shock cord. To do that, we take the shock cord and the nose cone, previously where we attached the parachute, we will now attach the shock cord. And you take the shock cord and you put it into the gap that we cut out to provide enough lanyard or enough shock cord on one side, and you simply tie it together. To tie, it's any kind of a knot because this is elastic and it's going to cinch down itself pretty good. And usually with this type of mo model, um, except for that mistake, usually with this kind of model, what happens is um, it will, and make sure you don't get tangled up with the shock cords, uh, with the um, lanyards from the parachute. This type of model does not need much of a um, length of a shock cord or much of a strength to hold the two together because it's not really a high-powered rocket. We'll talk about high-powered rocket uh, assembly later, which is a lot different than this. These are basically for uh, children or adults to have fun with and to just fly. So now we have a, a completed model rocket set where we have a, the rocket body, the engine mount tube, parachute and nose cone, and all assembled.